Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,339. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,339 start or the finished file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We have to see how to create the alphabet A to Z. And we're going to see how to do it with a formula, Power Query, and a custom list. Now we're going to start off by looking at a formula. And if we're going to use a formula, we have to talk about what ASCII characters are. Now there's 255 ASCII characters. And these are the characters that we use. Some of them are printable. Some of them are not. For example, ASCII character number 10 is a line feed or a new line. So if you were actually typing out the text, fun and you wanted a line break, you would use Alt Enter in Excel to add a new line. And that's an example of an ASCII character that is not printable. If we scroll down the list, oh, look at that, ASCII character 65, that's the capital letter A, all the way to 90, which is Z. If we want lowercase, we start at 97 and go forward. Not only that, but there's an actual function in Excel that stands for ASCII characters, and it's the function char, which stands for character. Now notice the screen tip returns the character specified by the code number. The code number for us is 1, 2, 3, all the way to 255. So the first thing is, if we're going to do capital ABC, we need the number 65, 66, 67, and so on. Now, no problem. We could type it next to the column and then use our formula. But I'm going to do this all in one formula. So I'm going to build a formula number incrementer, which will give us the number 65, 66, 67, and so on. Hey, we're going to use the rows functions. Now, the rows function simply counts the number of rows in a range. So look at this. I'm in cell E4. If I type E dollar sign 4 colon E4, how many rows in this range of cells? Well, from 4 to 4 is 1. But notice I locked this first 4. So that will be locked as I copy the formula down. The second 4 is free to move to 5, 6, 7, 8. Notice that's an expandable range, but it will give us exactly what we want. Well, almost. Close parentheses, Control-Enter, and copy it down. Notice that it does have an expandable range. The first 4 is locked. The second 4 is not, so it's 8 here. That's how we can use the rows function to increment numbers. Now remember, we needed 65, 66, 67, and so on. So I'm simply going to add to row 64. Control-Enter. There's our 65 as I copy it down all the way to 90. Boom, there it is. Now notice I have the whole range highlighted and the active cell is at the top. I'm going to hit the F2 key to put the active cell in edit mode. Come to the front of rows and type CH tab. There it is. All it needed was a number. That will do it. Close parentheses. Now I've edited my formula in the active cell to populate this formula all the way down. I hold Control and Enter. And there we go. Now notice these are capital letters. If I'd like lowercase, hey, I'm going to copy the formula over. Click F2 to put it in edit mode. Now notice that the E reference over here turned to F because there was no dollar sign. And that F4 is perfect because that's the cell we're in. We don't want to add 64. We, let's see, we have to start at 97. So from 1, we're going to add 96. And that should do it. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. There you go, ABC, upper and lower case with a formula. Now, we'll do Power Query in a second, but I like to talk about a custom list. Now, a custom list is something like this. If I type JAN, Control Enter, Ah, there's my fill handle. When I point to the fill handle with my crosshair, and this is the only way to enact a custom list, and click and drag, what? It knew to go to January, February, March, and so on. Well, that's actually a hidden custom list. I'm going to delete this and go up 
to File, down to Options. And then over here on the left, we go down to Advanced. And then in Advanced, we go all the way down to General. And there it is, Edit Custom Lists. If I click Edit Custom Lists, oh, that's the secret to days and months. We actually can import and add any custom list we wanted. If we wanted a set of employee names or whatever, we just add it. So let's see how to do this for ABC. Now, we actually have to generate the letters first. So once I've generated these letters, and watch this, I'm going to take the lowercase highlight, and I'm going to point to the edge, and that is my move cursor. I'm not going to left click. I'm going to right click. Right clicking, and I'm dragging over here. And I'm still right clicking. I'm going to let go, and instantly a secret menu pops up. And I'm going to say, copy here as values only. And boom, there's my list of A to Z. Now I can add this to a custom list. It's highlighted. Now you could go to File, Options, or you can use the keyboard Alt-T-O. That's actually from the old Excel 2003 and before Tools, Options. All right, now we go down to Advanced, down to General, Edit Custom List. Oh, and look, it knows that I've highlighted a range, Import, and there it is. I don't even have to click Add. I click OK, click OK. Now I come over here and type the letter A, Control Enter. And now I point to the Fill handle and click and drag. That is so cool. If you were to A, Control Enter, Control C, and then highlight, and then use Control V, that doesn't work. You have to use that Fill handle. Now watch this. Here's the interesting thing. If I type capital A, Control Enter, remember, I entered lowercase into my custom list. But now when I fill handle with my angry rabbit and drag it, boom, it knows. So custom lists are the way you want to go if you're going to use this over and over. Now, let's see how to do this with Power Query. In Excel 2016, Power Query is already built into the Data Ribbon tab. Get and Transform is Power Query. In earlier versions, Excel 2013 and Excel 2010, you actually have to download it and install it as its own tab. Here you go. Ready? We go to New Query from Other Sources down to Blank. And before I do anything, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to name this. I just named it My Alphabet and Enter. All right, this is a blank query. We're actually going to come to the formula bar, type an equal sign, and guess what? We're going to use curly brackets. Now, over in Excel, curly brackets house arrays. Over here in Power Query, curly brackets house lists. And we simply type in double quotes, because this is text, A. And double quote, comma, double quote, B, double quote, comma, and so on, all the way to Z. No, no, wait a second. Although that would work, that's not what we're going to do. There's this amazing trick in Power Query lists. It's the dot, dot operator. It means go from wherever the start is to wherever the finish is. So I'm going to double quote Z, double quote, and then close off this Power Query list with a close curly bracket. And when I hit Enter, it says go all the way from A to Z, and boom, there is our list. Now, you can use numbers 1 to 5,000, 212 to 6,000, or whatever, or single letters like this. Now, this is a list. And if we want to put it back into Excel, we have to convert it to a table. Notice when we created a list, List Tools Transform, there it is, To Table. When I click To Table, it's going to ask me, do I have a delimiter? What are you talking about? Well, if you happen to have had stuff in between the double quotes with a comma or a space, some delimiter that you wanted to split into multiple columns, then you'd use that. But we don't. This is just A, B, C, D, E, F. And we don't need to worry about errors, so I simply click OK. And there's my table. Double click, call this something like Power Query ABC, and Enter. 
Now I'm going to close and load, close and load to table. I want this on the existing sheet. Click Collapse. I'm going to put it right below in H4. Click OK. Click Load. And there we go with Power Query. So Power Query with the dot, dot, list operator, custom list, and Excel formulas. We can do our ABCs. All right, we'll see you next trick.